Welcome back to Kinsey, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's the 27th of April. We're still in this uh, crazy pandemic with coronavirus. You join myself, Tony, and the Shazmaster General. We are going to be doing an adventure here into uh, it's basically Cascade. I haven't been here for many, many years. It's a beautiful spot. The aim is to get up here onto this ridge line, uh, and then we drop down to the other side. And the Again, it's a really nice spot, it's out near a lake and uh, I used to camp there many many years ago so I'm trying to, I'm hopefully going to see if I can get there in the next couple of hours. I haven't done this route before so this is an adventure for both of us. And it's a stunning day, how about this? Look at this. It's gorgeous. So that's how you're feeling? Good, I've seen my backpack. Look at the backpack. Damn girl, that backpack no. So we got all the gear, we've got everything that we need to survive for the rest of the year. We've got food, we've got drink. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, we can hunt. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to have to work out exactly where to go from here because, again, I haven't done this route before. We were uh, allowed to do this as well, by the way. I spoke to the, uh, the owner of the land. He allowed us to do this. But this is as far as we've come so far. And we are... We're trying to get down to... You can just about see there, there's the Hotel Europe Lieber. That's all around that area there. And this is now a real steep drop down into Tommy's Woods. It's, it's gorgeous. So yeah, we're going to crack on and see what happens. Shaz, you let's feeling good? This. Let's do this. Go. Always let's do this. Always. Okay, so we've been hiking now, not very long. It's literally taken about 20 maybe minutes, 20 minutes, half hour. And we just crossed a huge boggy area. Like we have the top of Tommy's which is up here. And we're trying to now go a little bit higher up because further down on the ground it's really boggy and it's obviously drier up high. But back there, you can see probably behind, that's all pure bog. It's all bog there. Rivers running underneath the ground, some of the drops are like four or five feet down, and you don't know until you step on it that it's there. But again, no one, no one comes this way to the Cascade. And it's very, very dry. This will make brilliant kindling now for the fire later on. And here, this is the wood here. There's nothing in it, it's completely dead. Everything's completely dead up here. Finally, just on the border now of Tommy's Woods. We've taken a long route round. This is Tommy's Woods. So this is a national park um, area. There's plenty of deers in here. It's untouched. You can even hear there's a stream now. What you can hear is the cascade. The cascade comes down from this little divot here in the almost like a divot in the mountain, and it runs all the way down into the lake which then goes out into the sea, the Atlantic over there. And again, I've done this many, many years ago. It's been a while since I've been here. I'm sure things have changed. I'm hoping if we get down to the Cascade that my little camping spot is still there.
Okay, so we've made it now into uh, one of the roads that's in home is here. So we crossed the road back up there. It's, it's the loop I was talking about earlier. This is the lower road. And if you follow this road around, it does loop up around the top of Tomis, which is behind us. The weather literally couldn't be any better. It's a stunning day. So we're definitely going to get to the Cascade, which is great news. How uh, wild it's going to be when we're there is another story. I, f I forgot how amazing this place was. There's literally deer everywhere. We've seen so many deer. There's more. Up there. Ah, it's incredible. There's a stack behind me. We've been walking for a good few hours now, but the good thing is we're all on this path um, and it's going really, really well. We couldn't have better weather, it's absolutely stunning. Shazmaster General is here. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, it's stunning. Okay, so we are at O'Sullivan's Cascade finally, my old camping spot, literally used to practically live here. Shaz, we're good? Yeah! Uh, glad to see nothing's really changed. We've got the shoreline right there. Probably see that there. Uh, we've got the cascade over here. I'll show you all that later, but right now we're gonna get the gear down onto my old camping spot. Okay, so the campsite is still there. I can still see my little fireplace. I'll show you that in a second. But before it gets too dark because it's quite shaded here. I want to show you the O'Sullivan's Cascade. Uh, word is that in the pool at the bottom there are fresh eels that live there. I don't know how true that is, but I'm going to show you now. It's a stunning, stunning cascade. So, campsite is directly behind me back there. And the cascade. Cascade is here. Check this out. So that is O'Sullivan's Cascade. All that water you see right there, it comes down from the very top of Tomy's Mountain here in the Gap. And that is one very cold pool. During the pandemic of 2020, it doesn't get much more beautiful than that. How about that? How about that, Shazmaster? How about that? Okay, so we're gonna take in some of the views and we're gonna go back, set up the tent and I'll show you the views that we have from our campsite. Okay, so uh, it's been about an hour or so since I showed you the cascade. We've just started a fire here. Uh, we've got the tent set. Good to go, it's right behind me. Not sound, only just the, just, the, just the waterfall there behind me. We've got all our firewood here. Fortunately, it's very dead, the, the ground. Um, so there's lots of leaves everywhere and there's lots of dead branches which is ideal for everything here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some food on the go soon. We're just, uh, Shannon's just gone to get some more branches for the, for the fire while I'm trying to keep it going here. Okay everyone, as you can tell, it's got very, very dark. We've had some grub, we've had some food. It's an incredible evening again. As expected, there is no wind. 
fire is going there. We're going to stoke it up again there. Uh, tent is obviously behind us, and the views again. Who's that? I think no that's me. Idea. That's me, I think. This is the evening coming now. And when the sun sets here, it does set fairly quickly. There you go, better view of the fire there. There we have it, that's there our invention. Thanks, Jess. You good? Yeah. See you later. So yeah, have an amazing evening and we will do a finishing video tomorrow for the outro. Bye! Morning everyone, this is our sunrise for today, it's half past six in the morning, the water is so still, and we have the most gorgeous sunrise right there, you can just hear the waterfall behind me, that's the cascade. How about that for a morning? So now I'd say this is probably the perfect time to do the, the outro. Um, it's been an incredible adventure. It's been perfect weather. We've seen the deer like we'd wanted to see. We heard a couple of animals during the evening, during the night, but it was, uh, it was amazing. So there we are. So make sure you have a fantastic day again amongst all this craziness trying to appreciate things like this is, uh, is really really important however we have just heard now that we are now on lockdown for two more weeks so two more weeks so we are on lockdown for two weeks so we're going to pack up the gear now we're going to get out of here and uh, yeah it's not a bad way to see to see the sunrise do have a good day stay positive stay active stay fit keep your hands clean and I will see you very soon thanks very much for watching Part two of the Beginner's Guide to Pilates as well is coming uh, during next week, so you'll see that very soon. Have a great day. Bye.